presentation as well. So having said that, I'll now move on to Mr. Alokesh Roy. Uh, Alokesh, I know is very angry because uh, he's uh, still in office, still uh, and in Pune situation is not very good. We know that uh, Pune, uh, there could be a possibility. Of, I think Alokesh, there is one more lockdown in Pune, right? No, that is already going on, but uh, okay, but I have the pass and I can attend office, don't worry. And okay. office is a better place to work from rather than yeah. home. I always believe yeah, that. That's true, that's true. Should I start? Uh, yeah, please go ahead. Because your presentation is the most important one and uh, I uh, want your presentation to be, you know, noted by everyone. Can you see the presentation now? Uh, not yet. You have to share the screen. I'm sharing the screen. Ankit, okay. can you check? Wait, wait, share. Uh, huh. Can you see it now? Yeah. Yes. Okay, now, first of all, uh, let me make a point that uh, you need an engine to pull, not to push. So having said that, at the cost of repetition, let me tell you that uh, uh, we are from the demand side, and we are uh, we know that steel mills are there and everything is there. First of all, Bangladesh is an important country for us. And having said that, uh, I am making this presentation with a view that uh, with a view that uh, we are supplying to Bangladesh from Vietnam, and that is why we are we are competitive from that place from Pune. It is not that competitive. And other aspect is that whatever structures we give into Bangladesh, there is an import duty which is very high, which is 62%. In fact, uh, I would like to make a representation of the government bodies that why can't you allow us to export export back to uh, Bangladesh if we take the materials from Bangladesh. So I take the raw material and a finished product, I send it back. So their way, you are gaining on the demand side also. Now you are losing out on both. Now having said that, let me go to this. Zamil still, we are across the whole world. And uh, I manage the Southeast Asian uh, territory along with East Africa. So Bangladesh GDP is growing at 7.3%. Everybody has told that it is an interesting country to be in. And the construction segment is growing at 9.6%, which is also uh, gives us a tremendous impetus. And the construction of steel will be around 7.5 million metric ton. And we know that the whole construction overview of Bangladesh is there. But having said that, let me tell you what Bangladesh lacks today is the iconic uh, structures. Now, there can be made by PEB and SS uh, structural steel, and we have done many. I need not repeat on the, uh, on the USPs of steel construction. So you have got all the speed and economy and everything, recyclability, and people have been talking about many such things. Now, going to the mega projects, if you look at what you have done globally, I'll just, uh, I'll just tell you that even today, Hanoi, uh, our, our uh, head office is in there for Vietnam. We have done the F1 circuit, which has become an iconic landmark. I'll share you the photo. And those are all factory made and uh, uh, sent to the site. And we, we are, we are detailing and engineering inputs are with all the uh, latest models and uh, latest softwares. And this uh, particular project cycle is very economical in terms of overall project output. So. When I, when I go to this uh, technology front, we are using all the global softwares which lead to optimal design and economical solutions rather than going by. Over and above all this, we have got our own in-house software to design and detail uh, the projects. Now, when you see that uh, our area of expertise is everything, including uh, industries to retail, to uh, warehousing, to uh, steel mills, everything. So, if we, See, first of all, let me tell you, we are capable of designing any structures of any span with any height. And if you look at this is the kind of iconic buildings we have done in Philippines. And uh, this is a 100 meter clear span building where almost 1200 metric ton weight. This is one steel mill in Malaysia, almost 14,000 metric ton of steel structures which are supplied from there. This is one Indonesia Batam Island steel mill, which is 7,000 metric ton. And we have done this uh, pit building. And please remember, this is an architect. This is not an architect rendition. This is the actual photo. This is actually a pagoda kind of construction, which they've typically made of bamboo. They wanted it out of steel. So we have done it. And now today, this has become an icon of Hanoi. Although, unfortunately, due to this pandemic, 
this particular F1 race has not happened, which was due in April. But I'm sure next year when it happens, you can see more about it in the, all the media. So this is the real photo of the whole structure. Now these are all factory made and went and got assembled at the site. Now this is one 5,000 metric ton automotive industry in Vietnam. This is the wind group and we are doing all such structures. This is the, this is the airport, Pomfrey International Airport in Cambodia where we have done this whole airport with the pre-engineered building structure. This is the thermal power plant we have made in Philippines. This is one of the mining processing plant we have done. This is the Saudi Aramco Center of Excellence, which is the iconic structure in Dama. So this is 3000 metric ton. Only the only portion we have not done is the cladding, which is done by someone else, but every, everything was made by us. So when you go to the high rise and somebody in the pre previous panel uh, has highlighted that we need to go vertical and in Bangladesh more so, because until unless we go vertical, Bangladesh having a land uh, limitations will never prosper because they, that is how any country prospers. And you can look at Dubai, how it has gone ahead and actually done the whole justice to the uh, economy of that place. Now, when it comes to Bangladesh, our association has been for 23 years. We have done almost 1,500 plus projects. The largest projects being the 9,000 metric ton single project. The tallest project is the 22-story building. And most of the buildings are LEED certified buildings. So this is the latest addition, the Bhasanchar, uh, this Rohingya refugees, which Nirmalada you are referring to. These are 120 buildings, multiple storied, 9,000 metric ton. And you, you can see on the YouTube, there is a YouTube video also, which is beautifully depicted this kind of thing. And the phase two is also coming up, which you will be doing. This is one of the uh, pioneer buildings, like a denning factory, the 3,200 metric ton to DBL ceramic factory, which is 1,600 metric ton, to another 1,000 metric ton of textile in the textile factory, which you have done. And then this is the Sarina Hotel, which you have done 22 story, along with uh, one, uh, one of the other building, which is a corporate office for Sabinco. So this is one plant done for 1250 and all those things. We have a presence in Bangladesh. We have a country manager over there, Ms. Baal Haq. And please be assured that until and unless the demand side picks up, and let me also tell you, Bangladesh today lacks an iconic structure. When you people refer to Howrah Bridge, Calcutta and Howrah Bridge is similar, synonym. You place a photo of Howrah Bridge, you know it is Calcutta. You place a, a photo of uh, Sydney Opera House, you know it is, it is uh, Sydney. You place uh, Eiffel Tower, it is, uh, it is uh, Paris. So the civil structure will determine the address or the nomenclature of the, of the city. So I wish Bangladesh or some company in Bangladesh comes up with the iconic structure where we can be partnering and we can partner in the process. One request I could see Mr. Mandel also in the group that why can't we discuss about taking steel from Bangladesh and then uh, sending the finished product back and let us uh, think of reducing the import barrier so that we the business for Bangladesh mills and the producers like uh, Nirmalada, you are telling me for the flat products. We import a lot of flat products and Tata Steel today supplies to Vietnam. Why can't Bangladesh supply to uh, Vietnam? And we ship it back. Thank you. I hand over to you. Uh, thank you so much, uh, all of you.